Guys, welcome back. Today we're working on the 2012 through 2017 Ford Focus battery pack. And this is a culmination of the P0AA6 um, fault code. And what happens is it leaks coolant inside the battery. And these things right here, they, they come out. The battery starts to, it's, it starts to, you know, like the, um, you know how your cell phone battery, it, if you damage it, it, or it gets old or whatever, it like <laughs> squishes out like a pillow. Well, that happens to this whole battery pack. And what I tried first was I was like, oh, I'm going to take it apart and I'm going to fix all those cells. And I took the top bracket off and I realized that was not happening. Um, there's, once you take the um, top strap off of there, like this guy, this thing just, it just, <clears throat> even more. I mean, it just wants to go. And so what I've devised is a strapping method. So there is some 5 16th um, iron there, steel. And I, I had to adjust it to fit around the edge here. But these are painted black. I painted them black to, you know, kind of match the interior of the battery compartment. And all I'm doing here is I'm just cranking this guy back down. I'm just bringing it back into, I'm just squishing it back together. And you'll see, let me get you in the tripod here. And you can literally just watch me bring this guy back to back into not complete spec but good enough that it'll go back together and it will it will function sorry about my cameramanship I'm, I'm not like the best cameraman you'll it just sit there and watch with me while i crank on this guy and uh, you'll see it go back start going back into spec and um of course, I'll show you the before and after. And I'm just cranking him down on both sides. You do a little on this side and a little on that side. And um, get them all cranked back down. And he's going to be back in service. Um, will it be like it was when it was new? No. It's never going to be like it was when it was new. You know, it's... I'm not looking to get more battery charge out of this. I mean, this thing actually has plenty of actual battery life in it. What was happening was I, I, let, the, um, I let the cooling fan get out of whack. I let the cooling fan get old. And instead of replacing it with the new one I had, I was, I guess I was being lazy and I didn't replace it when it failed. The cooling fan module. Well, there's like a little separate module on the actual fan itself. And I didn't replace it. I just let it go. And so what happened is the um, battery pack got a little warm. And he did a little, you know, he got a little of his guts squished out. And um, that's that. And this gap right here got really big. And so now if you look at it, the gap is closing. I mean, quite a bit, actually. It, um, we've squished these batteries back together about a half inch now. We're just gonna keep on going. Now I'm sweating. This, I guess everything makes me sweat now because I'm fat and old. <laughs> My housekeeper today, he's like, Sean, you need to start doing some training. And I was like, yeah, I know. You know, it's like fat people know they're fat for the most part. It's not like it's lost on them that they're you know, look down at their penis and I guess I shouldn't say that if I want people to 
if, when I look down to go to the restroom and I have a hard time finding the place where urine comes out of, is that a good way to say it? That's not helping either, is it? I'm not making this any better talking, so I guess I should just be quiet. You know what I'm saying though, right? It's like one of those things, you know when you're fat. So I know I'm fat. I mean, I don't want to get fatter. So we're just gonna keep tightening this guy. Um, I had him real tight. I took him back apart to do some grinding on him. And I have some other ones that if I don't like the way it works out by the time I'm done putting these ones in, I, I have two more that I can slide down into here and do two more at the bottom of the battery to really get it snug down. And these are gonna take some, some uh, work too. And I guess I'm gonna have to make a couple little oval, like take a couple little round out there for it to fit. I don't know if you guys can see, you know, it'll fit right there. Down here where the hardware is, it's still a little snug, so we don't have to do some adjustments there. So basically what we're doing is we're just squishing this, we're squishing this battery back together so this plumbing can get stuck back together. Cause the gap here was huge. I mean, it was like almost um, probably three sixteenths of an inch. And now we're back down to an eighth an inch on, on all of them. And um, what we're gonna do is just squish it back together, put it back in the car, and see if that works. And if it does, great. <laughs> and if it doesn't, I'm still looking for a used one to put in, you know. Um, it's just one of those things. I really like this car, so I would like to be able to drive him. I like having a cute little electric car. I have a Mach-E. I have a new Mach-E that would be uh, all-wheel drive in the extended range. And um, this car is just like the perfect little car for getting around town and going to the grocery store, you know, because it, it'll do like 70 miles on the charge. So you can get it around town real easy with it, no problem. So there we go. The, like I said, the gap on these was huge before, and now it's just... I mean, there's still a gap. Uh, it's not as bad now. And if you take these, you if you take these all threads off, it just. I mean, look down here at the end. Um, it is. That black mark is how much squish I've taken out of those batteries, or how much we squished them together. So from this black mark. That's the um, resting point, and so about an inch. We squished them back down an inch, and that they're still bolted down into the frame too. If you popped them up out of the frame, they would just they would just like like that. You guys, I hope you guys like my sound effects. I work on them all the time. I I literally just. Uh, all I think about is how to make you guys happier on my channels. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I just like messing around. This is fun. I'm just like having fun, you know, with life and everything. I'm just having fun. And um, so, yeah, that's what we're doing. And there are these little clips that go on here, and I'm actually just going to leave them off so they'll float. Because what happens is if you clip it, these guys, these guys will be real tight, and then these guys will be loose. One of them will get real loose. And I'm thinking if we just leave them floating in there, that would probably be better for the whole assembly, just to leave them floating. So that's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave them floating. And I might actually loosen these guys up and see if that, See if that lets them squish together a little bit better. Not take them out. Just loosen them up a little bit. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't 
think that helped any. But, you know, it's one of those things. Um, there's no, like, definite solutions to this. You just kind of do this and do that, and hopefully something will work out. Man, that is... That is a lot of squish on there. And uh, we're just going to hope that those stay together. We're actually going to chop these off a little bit. Past the black mark with just a hacksaw. I'm going to stick a neodymium magnet on there. On the bottom. To catch the shavings. And then um, whack that off with a hacksaw. Because if you bring the grinder in here. It's going to just spray shavings all over this. And we don't want to do that for sure. Uh, we could do bolt cutters. Um, it's one of those things. There's only so much room in this actual battery pack um, to to do stuff with. So that's what we're doing. And I think we're going to go ahead and leave it like this. And like I said, I'm still hoping to get another battery pack. I'm actually going to try to buy a whole other spare car so I can have all the spare parts for it because... They're not making these cars anymore and they're not making the parts for them anymore either in this, this particular model. So we just want to do our best to keep, I love this car, I've named him Sparky and so I want to keep him on the road as long as I can. And I think doing all this stuff, I think we really can leave him on the road a long time. So that's what we're gonna to try to do. Leave your questions and comments. Down below. Oh, see that gap was like really, I mean, it was a huge gap before. There should be something like that. We're never going to get to that though. But like I said before, there was a huge gap in there. It was like this big and that is not going to work. So we'll go ahead and put this back together, put it in the car and We've got basically all the uh, coolant cleaned up out of the inside. This was flooded with coolant. This whole bottom was flooded with coolant. This car knows when it's been flooded with coolant. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put them back together and then see if it works. And if it doesn't, we'll just keep messing with it till we get it working good. Because like I said, I, I love this little car. We're going to get them running right.